Hello, how's it going? I'm not going to do necessarily like a film review, but just some of the thoughts and feelings that I had. Brought back so many memories of my two months in this incredible city. You know, I'm thinking about the stars, but not just the, you know, Griffith Observatory. And there's some beautiful scenes shot there. But also I'm thinking of the stars on Hollywood Boulevard and the, the magic of the film industry and the music industry that's there in LA. The colours of La La Land are beautiful. There's a real sense of magic around La La Land. The traffic, the atmosphere, it's a film for the dreamers. It's a film for you, I know it's a film for you. I'm sure it's gonna get best picture at the Oscars. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, they're acting out their story, homage to all of those people who've had a dream, who've gone for it. I was fortunate enough to have a tour around Sony Studios and as we were walking around we went and got a coffee from one of the coffee shops on the Sony Studios lot. Thought about their story. So yeah, it's not really a film review, just the sense of it's one for the dreamers. The colours are spectacular. The, the guy who's directed it, the guy who, who did Whiplash and the way they use jazz music in Whiplash, it's so seamless the way that the songs and it almost, when you're around LA anyway, there's a there's a real sense of nostalgia in the film and a sense of modern LA kind of clashing and what it's like to live and be in the industry and what it's like to live and breathe LA. Go and watch it, it's going to be well deserving of all its Oscars, I'm sure it's going to get loads. The music isn't cringy, the colours are spectacular, the dancing, the story, it's for the dreamers, it's for us, it's for Bright Cube. Let's go.